it's only been one day and I'm already in need of alcohol as you can see after what I watched this afternoon so there was this Japanese film by Toho Productions which is a respectable one as you know the Godzilla house to be specific and uh, well it was titled the Empire of Corpses where do I even start with this one yes there are zombies in it but there's also the Frankenstein the Heart of Darkness uh, Thomas Edison a guy that looks like Charles Darwin but he's not and uh, John Watson is in this film but uh, Sherlock Holmes is not which is uh, absurd if you ask me what do I this film okay so the setting is that we are in alternative 1800th century and uh, the researchers of Victor Frankenstein yes that Frankenstein um, were actually not only accepted by the scientific community of the world but they pretty much were implemented in the technological and scientific progress of society at all basically the undead became common knowledge as servants as uh, substitute workers and also as pawns to be sent in war which already provides a very very poignant and by poignant I mean laid on thick commentary about war has changed and all of that which is patronizing to say the least but anyway okay so basically what happens here is that uh, this is quite insane this is the most insane film I've seen so far um, if you recall last year I reviewed a uh, love story uh, between uh, a satellite girl and a cow milk milk cow this is even more insane it has John Watson and a couple of other guys looking for a scientist in the middle of Afghanistan that actually resume, re found the, the ancient tombs of Dr. Frankenstein himself to create new brands of undead that can also explode or, they are, or maybe they are more intelligent something along those lines and he, he has an undead friend that he reanimated himself and if you thought he was going to turn up to be Sherlock Holmes by the end of it uh, he does not. In fact, uh, of all the 50,000 twists that this film likes to throw on your face constantly and making no sense whatsoever, the dead man turning out to be Sherlock Holmes is not one of those. You would, you, you would ask yourself, what's the point of having John Watson as the main character of this film if there is no Sherlock Holmes at the end? There isn't! just John Watson and yet we have Thomas Edison the Nautilus Frankenstein Frankenstein's monster names that I don't know of completely thrown at the audience's face constantly in one of the most convoluted and nonsensical stories you will find in recent memory it's completely insane that's what it is Unfortunately, it's not even fun. You'd think it's something with a premise so insane of uh, uh, Victor Frankenstein, undead, uh, the undead, uh, Thomas Edison, somewhere in the middle, Frankenstein's monster still at large, conspiracies, Moriarty involved somehow, and Thomas Edison being credited as the inventor of the Nautilus. And, and also an android running around for no reason whatsoever all in this clusterfuck of a film you'd think it would be fun at the very least it is not it is incredibly dull and boring I mean it was boring at first the first half of it the first third of it basically tries to be the heart of darkness with Tom, uh, John and his uh, associates finding the scientist in Afghanistan music is loud and then the film turns into 50 different other films all at once it has no structure no continuity no coherency with itself and the main leitmotif of the entire film is the completely homoerotic relationship between Watson and his reanimated dead 
friend, a cold Friday. I cannot make this up. So that was the Empire of Corpses. It's uh, it was weird, and it was dull. It should have been much more fun than it was, but unfortunately made the mistake of taking itself way too seriously for its own good. As a result, the film is catastrophically bad, and not fun at all. Honestly, uh, it seems like I'm rambling, but that's the plot of the film. It's somebody's insane fan fiction with less coherency than my immortal for that regard. So, yeah, it seems like the ramblings of a madman if I try to explain to you, but that film is really that stupid. And not, it's not even worth sitting through it, because... Uh, like I said, it's so crushingly dull. So there. The Empire of Corpses. Missed opportunity, really. Also, too, too many... Too many convoluted plot points and pointless twists that make no sense. Something about the soul. Um, where is the soul? Uh, is there a soul? Let's find the soul because the soul is what makes you human and whatnot. It's it's really dumb. But oh boy, is it self-important. So anyway, yes, that's my quick thoughts about The Empire of Corpses by Toho Production. Look it up if you will, it's uh, somewhere. Anyway, uh, yeah. There is actually another film I watched right after that one, a far better one this time, which is titled uh, um, Way Up North. It's actually a very, very uh, interesting film to watch. The animation style is reminiscent of the paintings of Matisse, at least for as far as the character design is concerned. It tells the story of this uh, girl no, uh, called Sasha, who basically goes on a journey of discovery and self-discovery to find out about the whereabouts child over there, to find about the whereabouts of uh, the lost ship of his grandfather, who basically wanted to bring it to the North Pole in the name of his country of Russia. Tsarist Russia, by the way, we are in the late 1800s. So this is basically her journey to find the boat, along with a group of, uh, uh, you know, rough and gruff sailors. Uh, she had to run away from home, obviously, because she was born in a rich family, and there is all that, there is all that classic uh, coming-of-age story of, you know, a band abandoning the security of a life to basically discover the hardship of the true life outside of her manor and all that. But it's a really good film uh, and I would definitely recommend that. Way Up North. It's a French film. Look it up. Okay, so I still have my wine here. In a matter of minutes I shall see finally Miss Okusai by the IG production. And uh, at some other point, I'll talk to you about the short films I've seen as well. But uh, as for now, this is it. And uh, I guess at this point, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Yes. <sighs> but seriously, The Empire of Corpses is a huge stinker. Bye!